Shalom, 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 Israel giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim El Chakadash. The one is to the apostle of the team, Messiah, who I say, teach you, I came out there pushing the word, truth in the city, risking freedom, and you like to do so more so now than ever before. Um, for we are close to the end, man. Um, now, as you can see from, you know, this video, it says a reporter gets into a heated argument with U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller over Israel genocide in Gaza. Now, you know, it's, it's coming out that, you know, the Internet is really exposing the atrocities of Esau Edom and how reckless and how, you know, genocidal they are as a people, you know, and 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 how they've been throughout all of history. And he pretty much checking them. And by checking them, he's also mentioning the threat of a nuclear war. Now, we know, according to the scriptures, unless you've been to Iraq, um, nuclear war is imminent. It's going to happen. All right? No ifs, ands, or buts. Still poised. Still fire, poised to strike Iran. Heavenly is going to destroy this place with fire. All right? So. In July, Blinken. Nevertheless, you know, I'm going to play this video. From developing a nuclear scriptures. weapon. By the way, this is from uh, Instagram video, you know, the brothers brothers page. So, I guess for all we know, yeah, they might have wrong. one mind. You're We're wrong, still yeah. poised Serving? to strike Iran. And wrong, in July, yeah, Blinken said that yeah, Iran was one to two weeks away you know, from developing a nuclear weapon. Again, so, he hasn't said I guess for all we know, they might have one so by now. And meanwhile, in Ukraine, they've struck deep within Russian territory several times, as deep as 300 miles from the border. And in that case, we don't have to guess. We know that Russia has the largest nuclear arsenal on the planet, as many as 6,000 warheads. And so one of the risks of arming militaries that are striking in the territories of nuclear powers is that one one of those gets deployed and then it could escalate very quickly from there. So it, it's rarely discussed, but it's important to address that the nuclear risk is real and it could very abruptly mean the end of you know what humans have worked for thousands of years to collectively achieve. And uh, us today are very lucky to live in with the fruits of that achievement. And I feel like we're treating the risks kind of brazenly. So my question for you is, you know, we often hear in response to these concerns that, well, Putin, Khomeini, you know, they're war criminals, they're terrorists, uh, as if they're too inherently evil or immoral for us to negotiate with. But meanwhile, this administration has financed a genocide in Gaza for the last year. And every day you're up there denying accountability for it. So, I mean, okay. what gives you the right to lecture other countries on their moral? So, if you have a policy question for me, I'm happy to take it. If you want to give a speech, no, there are I plenty mean, of places in Washington where you can give a speech. Yeah, but people are, are sick of the bullshit in here. I mean, like, it is okay. a genocide. I'm gonna you go are abetting it, another question. and you go are ahead. risking we'll nuclear war in Ukraine plenty, for this plenty proxy Plenty of places to give a speech. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, man, you, 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 everything you're spewing is bullshit, man. You speak with a forked tongue. Um, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, right? Every ancient war was fought, you know, on a battlefield. Shields, swords, helmets, bucklers, uh, arrows, you know, garments. Be, your clothes would be covered in blood, you know, because you'd be in a battlefield slicing and dicing. You know, if you didn't get killed, you'd be doing the killing. That's how ancient wars were fought, all right? But this should be with burning and fuel of fire. So this war that's going to take place in the very near future is with burning and fuel of fire, all right? Thermonuclear war. The only war in human history to be fought via fire, all right? You see? And and I know that um, you know the, the, the scriptures say um, and the elements. Let's get that because if you look at it, Mel, this Second Peter is two and uh, Second Peter is three and ten, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, right? So. It said the earth should be passed away with a great noise. It's that great noise, man. Thermonuclear missiles detonate, detonating in specific areas of the earth. 
um, specifically wiping out America and the land of Israel. But America is not going to be built up. Israel is going to be built up again by the children of Israel. Um, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It said, um, and the elements shall melt with fervor and heat. Now, the elements is another way of saying, you know, matter or atoms. And everything in the wor in this world is created, is made up of atoms. You know, they got the, uh, I forget what it's called. The atom chart, whatever, and, and, it, and it, everything is composed of atoms, matter, or elements, all right? Whether it be, you know, if you want to make air, air is a combination of uh, two parts, two parts, uh, one part, excuse me, hydrogen and oxygen, H2O. So one part hydrogen, two parts H2O, I believe. So that combination forms air, all right? Um, if you want to make plastic, we want to make metal. It's a combination of things that you have to put together to make that thing, all right? Everything is made up of elements. So when it says the elements should melt with fervor and heat, meaning everything should be um, turned to a liquid form, all right? It's, uh, not liquid, it should be... Um, Equivalent to the heat of whatever is uh, attached to it, okay? So, thereby melting it. So, when a nuclear missile drops, it's not that it melts everything. The temperature of the material that, 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 that a nuclear bomb detonates around becomes the same temperature of the nuclear missiles. They equalize each other, all right? So... So that's when the scriptures say the elements are melt with fervent heat. The only thing that can do that is a missile, more specifically, thermonuclear missile. The earth also, in the works they're in, that are there in, should be burnt up. Everything that's going on in the world is going to be burnt up, man. So, uh, so if you look at it, it's heavy. It says the elements will melt with fervor. He is a phrase from the Bible. Second, I'm reading right here. Second Peter is three and ten, uh, which describes a time when the earth and its contents will be destroyed by fire. The phrase elements can refer to to the building blocks of life. Again, I tell you, building blocks through the uh, the atom chart, everything that's made up of elements or the stars. The word melt is often translated as unloose, which could be a fitting description of an atomic disintegration, all right? Now, let me see, disintegration. The process of losing cohesion or strength, all right? Right, so when you say atomic, atomic is known for what? Atomic bomb. All right, relating to atoms or disintegration. Again, um, it becomes equalized with whatever that 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 bomb is doing. And I'm gonna keep this because I'm gonna bring it out at camp. All right, this is uh, Joel three and one, uh, three and nine, in the in the NLT. Say to the nations far and wide, get ready for war. Call out the best of your warriors. All the fighting men advance for attack. Hammer your plowshares in. Yeah, all the nations are getting ready for war, man. So like you're just checking the time. This war that's taking place in the Middle East, more specifically, according to Joel the third chapter, is going to draw out many nations to, to fight. Um, verse 11. Come quickly, all you nations everywhere, gather together in a valley. And now, O Lord, call out your warriors, the angels. Let the nations be called to arms. Let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's decision. There I, the Lord, will sit to pronounce judgment on them all. Right? And that he's going to pronounce judgment via 
thermonuclear fire, all right? So next video, we're going to do, next video, I'm going to touch on this, all right? We're going to touch on this. So, man, we, we out of head, man. It's, it's, it's about to get real, man. So with that, I want to give a praise to you. How are you? How are you? How are you? The monitor, the apostles, the elders, the GMS, who I say to you, I'll give you the next video. Shalom.